our history. It talks about when we came out of the sea. It talks about a time before people. It talks about a time when it was neither night or day. It was a time of dusk. Raven hadn't brought light to the world yet. Well, there's two clans, eh? The Raven clan came from Skulidja, right out of the ocean. And Jilahans was the eagle. She was a supernatural being too. You know, our whole existence still remains tied to the natural world and the supernatural world. Well, we know our people have been here, you know, at least, you know, 14,000 years. We populated this entire island at one time, and there were so many of us that we actually uh, migrated up to Alaska and uh, established encampments up there. So what happened after contact? So we had a lot of people migrating to Old Macedon and Skidigat. Uh, between 1850 to 1900. Basically, everybody was dying of smallpox. When the epidemics came through, the uh, population went down from those high numbers, 10, 15 to 20, 30, some argue up to 60,000, but it went down to five and a half hundred, maybe 600 people. All of our sites ended up getting abandoned, so it was survival. It was all about survival but at the same time, they were never able to kill us all off. You know, we're still here. There was 600 people that were left from that time period, and we're always grateful to those 600 people for always, you know, maintaining the, the strength of who we are. Skungwa, you're gonna see a lot of mortuary poles and memorial poles, but there were way more totem poles here than that. And so a lot of these poles, like I'm talking about, all got taken away after contact. We had people coming in, missionaries, collectors, looters, people that uh, wanted to uh, take from our islands, take from these old village sites that were abandoned. So a lot of our material culture um, left the islands and now it's all out spread around the world and all these different museums. So there's quite a lot of our history that's stored outside of Haida Gwaii now. And what we're trying to do is kind of bring it all back as much as we possibly can. It wasn't also just the material goods that were taken from around these islands, different sites. It was also uh, uh, human remains, um, which is just unbelievable. This is our land. We'll look after it. We're gonna keep doing all our traditional things. We're gonna hunt, we're gonna fish, we're gonna trap, we're gonna be able to build our houses where we want to. And um, we ended up with an agreement now. There's two separate designations. We said it's a Haida heritage site. Their authority that they come into the agreement with is as a national park reserve. That's their business, this is our business. We never stop fighting, you know, we have, we have a lot of other challenges that we're facing and I'm not I'm naive about that. Like as a Haida, I know there's quite a lot more things that we need to get done and a lot more things that we need to make sure happens. Protection of the lands and the waters is very, very, um, very tough work. You know, this isn't to say that you can't use the forest for economy, you can't use the trees but you gotta do it in a way that you're just not spoiling the earth. And I'm not even trying to say that, uh, you know, the First Nations are all angels, you know, like, you know, there's corruption, there's all these things, you know, like I, I wouldn't pretend that isn't so, but there's an indigenous principle of you know, humanity should be able to live with the earth. We're always taught that we're from the lands. The lands and waters have created our language, have created our culture. We're all from this place. It's in our makeup. And 
and the common thread through all of humanity, whatever race, whatever color, creed, religion, is the earth. You know, could we have an agreement where everybody says, okay, we got to look after this planet. What are we going to do about it? Um, I feel very, very lucky and very fortunate to call Haida Gwaii home and to be a part of the actions of keeping it what it is. You are what you eat and you are what you think, you are what you sing, you are what you do, you are what you carve and we are Haida Gwaii.